Hold up, guys. I just came back to the gym. Y vuelo a nachas rosadas. <clears throat> what is up, guys? Your friendly neighborhood YouTuber back to your guys' beautiful eyes. My name is Gonzalo. Sorry, none of you guys don't already know. Very nice to meet you. And um, if you are new, and also for the people who have been watching, I am back. Uh, if you are new, I haven't been uploading for about three to four weeks. That's the longest I have not uploaded for. Usually there's been like mostly two weeks that I didn't upload. That's the most. And this time I, I don't know where to start, guys. I just, I want to give you guys an explanation. And um, you guys deserve it. And uh, I think this one is reasonable for me to not have came back though. So just to update you guys quickly for the people who have been watching my videos for the people who follow me on instagram and if you don't follow me on instagram this is going to be something that you guys barely find out about i haven't been doing so well um i'm barely building up the courage to record again i will be honest i almost quit youtube for this certain reason that kind of just took away my motivation and it just it made me not want to go on trying anymore with my life and i will be upfront with you guys about that if you guys don't watch like my videos um, I did have one where I was talking about how my grandma's cancer got worse and they told us she had nothing else that we could do for her and it was all just a matter of time and well as sad as, sad as it is for me to say the time came you know time did catch up as they said and she is no longer with us and man guys I, I can't describe this feeling I will be honest for you. I, I'm a, I, I'm a, I'm never one who likes to put up a front. I just I haven't felt I haven't felt like myself, guys. I I don't half the time I haven't been feeling like trying ever since my grandma left. Like she left and she took my motivation with her. I've been feeling an empty hole. You know this feeling of losing someone is way different than anything else you can ever encounter in life. And I have never suffered true loss like I have now. I've never lost someone so close to me like I did with my grandma. No one really knows how close we were. I loved her like a mom and uh, I will, I, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, like for the first, uh, for these, for the first few days I was home crying the whole day and even now to this day there's times where if I'm alone and I start to think about it like deeply there's gonna be things that remind me of her. There's gonna be uh, Things that, like, I wish I could have said. Things I, I, that, you know, that I wish I could have taken back and spent more time with her for, you know? Things like that, and I'll be alone, think about all that, and, um, I just, I, I still cry, guys. I just feel like it was, even though it isn't, because everyone tells me it isn't, I just still put it on myself that I wasn't there. Because I... I'm sorry guys, um, it's like talking about this is really hard and um, and um, you know like uh, yeah I just I wish I could have been there when this happened to hold her hand and there's this one thing I love, there's this one thing that I love doing with her like I would grab my hand and I would put it right here on her face and tell her I loved her. I always did that with her when she was here because I wanted to show her my affection. And I have this image in my head where I wish I could have been there holding her hand, grabbing her face like that and telling her I love you and that everything was going to be okay and that I was going to fight in my life and never give up like I promised her I wouldn't. And I wasn't able to, you know. It's a feeling that I wake up with every day. I, for the first few days, I had constant nightmares. And not to, I, I promise I'm not trying to sound dramatic, but I had constant nightmares of her, like, leaving. And I would wake up. And to describe the feeling, I would, like, have a nightmare of her dying. And I would wake up to the nightmare because it happened, you know? And as, I know we, us, us humans, we're, like, selfish, you know? We wish they were still here. Not realizing that the whole time she was here, she was in pain during her battle. 
as selfish as it is like there's times where i wish she was still here but i know that if she was still here she'd be in pain and now that she isn't she's in a better place watching over us and she's no longer in pain and i'm pretty sure it's way better where she's at than here because as i said before i'm a strong believer in god i'm pretty sure she's in heaven she's an angel and even though we lost the battle here on earth heaven won an angel so at the end of the day she got the better she got the better outcome i still talk to her guys like every day i even though she isn't here I like to talk to her when I'm alone in the car like right now or when I'm going to work or when I'm in the shower, things like that. <laughs> yeah, it sounds funny. I talk to her in the shower. But yeah, I just, I like to tell her how my day went. I like to tell her what my problems are. I like to tell her to pray for me, to help me continue my stuff, to not give up. And here I am again. One of the biggest promises she made me, she made me make to her was to never give up, to always have faith, and to always keep pushing forward no matter what life throws at you. And I'm back again. I know I've left a few times and stopped uploading, didn't really seem committed, but I'm never leaving YouTube as I've said before. It's just things, a lot of things happen. I'm not gonna be a YouTuber who likes to act like everything is perfect, like like, nothing in life happens bad to people because we all know it does. And I just want to show you guys that that actual struggle that we go through. And I want to show you that no matter how hard it does get, like now, that I'm still eventually going to still be here. I'm never going to, you guys are never going to see the day where I quit. And even though this is the closest I've gotten to quitting, I'm here to keep a promise to, to, eventually make it and show her that I could point is I I don't feel like I can make it maybe because I'm just a negative person behind camera and I'm gonna tell you guys that straight up maybe because I really can't make it I don't know but a lot of people believe in me a lot of people say I can a lot of people see say that they see the potential that I have that others uh, that others lack and uh, anyone can make it with the hard work. I don't think anyone can't make it, which would include myself. But I'm just negative. And I need to work on not being negative. My grandma always told me to stop being negative. She told me to just take it step by step. Have patience. Have fun with what you're doing. And eventually one day it can happen. And I think that's how I should start living. Not thinking, I'm doing this, but I'm not going to make it. Because that's always how I thought. But what do I expect though? Life, as, as like not to sound bad, but life is life. We're going to lose people and if there was anybody in the world that didn't go through any like sufferings, they would never really develop themselves. They would never be the, uh, um, they would be heartless, I guess, you know, to describe it because they've never felt loss. They've never felt sadness. Like there's no one out there that is like that. Everyone has suffered loss, has suffered like hard times, you know, and um, I think that's what shapes shapes people into who they are like my grandma's passing as sad as it is to say it's shaping me into someone who's really going to try for his dreams because i want to keep that promise to her show her that i did make it and eventually it all comes together i'm very sorry this is a long talk i know there's people out there who aren't going to watch the whole thing they're going to probably click off as soon as they see the time on the video but whoever is watching and is still here right now thank you guys very much i appreciate you guys' time and i appreciate the fact that you guys really do care about what i say because some people that tell me they watch my videos is pretty obvious because i've seen it myself that they just click on it and they just get they give me the view which i'm still grateful for and they click off right like after the first two minutes it's cool it's cool i'm not it, you don't have to, it's not something i'm forcing on people to watch N anyone can do what they want they don't have to watch my videos you know but at least the decency of not lying telling me straight up you watched it or that you didn't you know and it's okay there's people who are going to click off i understand long videos of people talking do get kind of exhausting but you know it's forever who whoever out there does want to stick along for my journey like this and my talks and stuff that can try and help you guys out and try to show you guys that someone out there does feel the pains that we go through in this world i appreciate you guys because you guys are here wasting your time with me i still don't feel motivated guys i still don't feel like recording i still don't feel like editing i still don't feel like trying with anything else i just i want to get home and just rest half the time because you guys don't know this but i'm gonna tell you guys now 
I got a new job again. I'm pretty sure if you guys watch all my other videos, you guys see that I'm constantly saying, hey, I got a new job. And it's true. I have been moving from job to job to job, trying to find a job that pays way better. And I finally did. I found a job that I see myself staying at for a long time. Uh, and not, not forever, obviously, till things pop off, till maybe I make something with this, till maybe I make something with the other thing that I'm trying. It's a job that also helps pe humble you. And it's a job that opens up your eyes to a world where you realize that other people don't have what you have so you should always be appreciative of what you do have that other people don't point is i am um uh, i i work with developmentally disabled people that is the right term so for people out there who are saying you can't say it like that that is the right term i know it as a fact check it up guys research it but yeah i basically am a caregiver i take care of people with special needs and I just watch them, make sure they don't hurt themselves or, you know, do something that they shouldn't be doing. I will let you guys know, I only get two days off out of the week and sometimes only six, I mean, and sometimes only one day out of the week. So honestly, it is going to be very hard for me to be recording. And I want you guys to know that so you guys can understand that. And it's a uh, eight hour shifts. I work eight hour shifts almost every single day. And sometimes they call me for double shifts. So that's 16 hours. And sometimes there's times where I've worked like, now there hasn't been, I'm lying, I, I haven't worked 24 hour shifts yet, but there's times where people could call you for a triple, so that is possible. But this job, as I've said, it has a lot of time that it takes away from like other stuff, but I do have two, one day out of the week. If I can possibly record just a vlog for those days, I will. So I hope you guys do stick along for that. The one thing I will do is push and strive for her. And I've been prolonging this. I've been stalling to record this video. And I'm finally doing it. I want to inspire people and help other people. And I believe YouTube can give me the platform for that. And point is, I think everything that's happening to me right now is happening to kind of build me to what I'm asking for. And also for my family. Not just me. This isn't just about me. But I think what is happening to my family and me right now or friends around you is building you up for what you're asking for. For example, with me, I'm asking to make it on YouTube. Maybe this is all this is happening to me to make me feel what it is like to go through hard times before you get to your goal before reaching your destination and i think let's say let's say if god lets me make it and by miracle I've, i actually make it in youtube this is all happening and it's going to build me up to always be humble and remember where i came from and not be a bad person in the future because things like this that i want to make and my actual dreams revolve around fame right so i think this is gonna humble me and keep me on my feet for the future and i hope that i hope that is that that's the case you know because i wouldn't want to become a different person and i just want to make my grandma proud that's what it's all about but just wanted to update you guys and kind of talk to you guys for this video and if you guys are still here till, until this very minute I, I love you guys i love you guys to death whoever watched this even like half of it or 10 minutes of this i love you guys i love you guys for watching this and bearing with me and even if you guys clicked and clicked off thanks for the view i i appreciate even you guys i i understand videos like these are kind of exhausting to watch but whoever did watch all of this i love you all i love anyone who's supporting me anyone who even just subscribes to me i appreciate the subscription i, I i'm under i'm an understanding person so whatever you guys can do to help out i love you guys very much and i can't describe that enough but so many people believe in me and so many people are like vouching for me and like a lot of people have been checking up on me you people know who you are i thank you guys because without you guys you guys wouldn't be i wouldn't be recording this video my mom my family my girlfriend my friends a lot of them remind me where's your videos what's going on don't give up keep pushing in life your grandma would want you to your grandma's in a better place and they're understanding a lot of people message me there's a few friends sadly to say who met my grandma and didn't really say anything about it about it when they found out and that's okay i'm not going to hold a grudge because my grandma would tell me not to but that's kind of sad and that also did take a little hit on me but i guess those friends kind of show their true colors right guys but point is these this uh, these past few weeks have been making me feel terrible but it has also brought something new to me where everything i do is going to be for her Everything I want to do in life is going to be in 
in memory of her I'm gonna keep her memory alive and I'm gonna show her that I'm gonna push forward and keep that promise that I made to her and that's how it's gonna go I just really want to do so much mainly to make my grandma proud and uh, I'm gonna work for that even though I don't have time right now and I barely have time for some things I'm gonna see what I can do maybe my content's gonna start up slow to let you guys know the next few videos might go a little slow they might just be little vlogs but anything I can get you guys I'm gonna try to make a good content so subscribe for that and um, yeah stay tuned guys stay tuned I'm gonna have some stuff for you guys I don't know how I'm gonna get the motivation back but it's coming it's coming it's coming just stay tuned but I'm gonna end it off here. I did enough talking and if you guys stayed for this whole video, if you guys are still here, I freaking love you guys to death. No matter what you guys watch, no matter what you guys went through right now on this video, thank you guys very much. I appreciate you all very much and I love you guys to death. And um, yes guys, subscribe because I'm gonna have lit content. My grandma's gonna be watching me from heaven doing these videos so she's gonna be watching too. So if she's watching, you should too. And like this video if you guys did enjoy the talk. I'm back. Comment what you want to see so I can get those videos for you. And um, turn on the post notifications to get notified when I start posting again, which will be next week. And subscribe. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. I beat you. Subscribe. I don't know what to say, guys. I need to get back into the rhythm of actually recording and the stuff I have to say. Point is, yes, guys. I love you all very much. My grandma's, my grandma's the best, guys. I want to put that out there. I don't know what to say. I want to end it off with her. But, yes, my grandma, beautiful. Yes, all that. I don't know what else to say. Stay tuned for the next video, guys. And thank you guys for catching up with me. See you guys on the next one.